that was a reminder to me that my biggest mission on this planet is to be and to have a good time. I came here for a good time. <laughs> Hello soul brothers and sisters, welcome to my channel, Alive to Vibe. I'm Sally Tetley, or you can call me Kayan. At this channel, we like to just hang out on my bedroom floor and talk about life, spirituality, um, the system, other shenanigans. But today in particular, I just want to remind you that I ain't no guru, I ain't no spiritual teacher. I'm just here to vibe with you, share stories, signs and synchronicities. And this week in particular is about bringing out the inner child, not being too serious, letting go, surrendering, trusting, being in a relationship with life, all of that jazz. And <laughs> we're gonna get into all of it. God, source, your higher self, great spirit, Whatever you want to label this infinite loving intelligence is always speaking to us in a number of ways such as through song, through people, animals, numbers, dreams. And it shows that we are always being guided. We are never, ever, ever alone. And we are able to see all of these beautiful, beautiful signs and synchronicities whenever we are fully present in the moment because whenever we are present this tells the multiverse god that we are open to receive when we are open to receive magic just sprinkles all over us and everywhere i mean it was always there but now we just have the eyes to see it then becomes this beautiful dance between you and spirit, a co-creative process unfolding right in front of your eyes. Life becomes easier because you can follow these cookie crumbs even if you don't know exactly where they're taking you. You just trust it, you go with it, it's fun. It's like hints are sprinkled everywhere and uh, it's because we have discovered how to play the game of life and that is through presence if you ask me what the point of life is i would say that it's about building this relationship between your inner source your inner self with god the inner light that lives within you and all around you so now let me share with you a story that happened yesterday these back-to-back -back synchronicities that reminded me of some key lessons of allowing surrendering letting go trusting slowing down all that jazz Things are shifting heavily for me. I feel that I'm quantum leaping into new territories. I'm entering new missions. And so naturally, I'm like, ooh, we getting kind of serious here. I gotta get my stuff together. I gotta stay aligned because I've got work to do and that's what's running in my mind. When God gives you a calling, are you going to let it ring and go to voicemail or are you going to pick up right away? And for me, you know, I'm like, I got you. What do you need? I am here to serve. The frustrating part though, imagine God is calling at 4 a.m. every morning and I'm laying in bed. I hear it. I'm just like, Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. And even though my spirit really just wants to get up and go, my heart, I have that within me to just let's go. But my body, my body is like, stop. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, what can I do, 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 do? And my body is like, no, 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 no. Relax. It's gonna be okay. Don't be too serious. Play. In my last video, I mentioned that if you ever feel some type of stagnancy or resistance, 
then what you gotta do is uh, move that energy move that inner G so whenever I was feeling this way I was in meditation and I was praying I asked God like, if this means that I should dance move that body and then the song that was playing in the background it said yes and then it switched to another song and I was like oh. <laughs> that was magical <laughs> And then I was just moving my body intuitively in the weirdest ways too. Like you should have seen me. I was like a pretzel doing all this stuff. But when I did, my body was like, ooh, ooh, ooh we have not stretched that part of our body in a minute. And if you don't stretch or dance regularly, please do because my body was literally begging me to and it was so much fun uh, just letting go uh, bringing out our inner child and letting our spirit our body guide us lead us and it opens up our energy centers too in the areas that the energy was stagnant or stuck and then you just get into the flow you want to get into the flow of life then you gotta get into the flow of your body you gotta move the agua within your organism <laughs> allow yourself to dance with life with a spirit and then i was like you know what today is gonna be my rest day I'm gonna dance, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna eat some ice cream, I'm gonna eat the rest of my pita chips, I'm gonna have a good time. And I almost, almost, almost uh, felt guilty because there was so much work that I knew I wanted to get done. But then I was like, mmm, -hmm. That vanilla ice cream was so good. Uh, I want to get another bowl. <sighs> Should I? Is it okay? And then uh, <laughs> I clicked on my phone and then I saw 222. And I was like, hey, great spirit. And I was like, girl, go get your ice cream. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. It's this beautiful, playful relationship between me and God. <laughs> it's so cute. Pretty much right after I saw the angel number, the lyrics of the song was, I didn't know how to be and got lit out of my tree. You saw me there at the back and waved me up to come and dance. And that's... That's what I did, and we were just dancing together. It was so magical, it's so beautiful, literally and uh, symbolically. <laughs> and then at 2.40, I was reading an Instagram post from The Ascension Seed, and let me read it out to you because it is relevant and beautiful. Okay, in tiredness, we remember there is no rush. All the things we're truly meant to do will be done. All the lessons we're meant to learn will be learned. And what about the moments in between? Easily missed if we don't slow down long enough to breathe, to pause, to listen, to watch your child like it was the first time, to stay longer in the hug or kiss amidst a busy day, letting time dance around our bodies as we embrace a moment of slowness when the mind says rush. This is a call to slow down and breathe. I feel that we get so anxious and eager about the future because we feel that there's so much more within us to give and share with the world and we want to see ourselves already there. If you can relate, let me know in the comments below because I know I feel that way sometimes, a lot of times. 
But whenever we move so fast, it's easy to miss out on those small precious moments. Like the moment of play that I just described to you. Those are the moments that I savor most because I'm living in the moment. I'm uh, allowing time to dance around my body and embrace a moment of slowness and enjoy my ice cream with no guilt and dance like no one is watching. Those are the best moments and those are the moments that we do not want to miss. Like I told you, I'm entering a new chapter in my life where I'm getting initiated and receiving a lot of information and I want to just jump into the next thing but that is not how it's done. We need time to integrate. We can't just go, 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 go all the time. Everything expands and then it contracts just like our lungs and like our lungs we need to remember to breathe we've got to allow that to happen because that's the natural flow of life one of the songs that was playing whenever i was dancing with spirit was an alan watts remix and in this song one of the lyrics was if you want life, don't cling to it, let go. And just like our breath, we've got to remember to let go. God asks you to rest so that God can do the rest. This is a lesson of surrender for me. It's about letting go of control and the full trust and knowing that God's source has my back. I can release the idea that I need to do everything all of the time and step away from that masculine energy which is give, 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 do, do, do and step into my feminine, embrace being open to receive and knowing that I am worthy of it. This dance between God is like a dance between these two energies, masculine and feminine, given and receiving. And this playful dance between us both, it births the inner child, it births the co-creation, the project, the experience into existence. There is no pressure to overperform. Whenever I was dancing, a lyric that kept repeating was, it's all I can do. And to me, that was a message not to over push myself put in my best effort but if it's all i can do for that day then it's okay just do my best which is a message that i heard in meditation i heard just do your best child god will do the rest remember that we are in a relationship and remember that in any healthy relationship whether that be with the self with god with life with anyone there are no IOUs, there is no pressure, there is no forcing. A healthy relationship is gentle, it's nurturing, it's honoring each other where we're at, it's unconditional love. I'm learning that in this relationship, we both serve each other in the most wholesome and purest way. It's a 50-50 relationship. Go halfway and then trust that God will meet you the other half. Put in effort and then let God take control. It's fair, it's even, it's balanced, it's equal devotion. It's a sacred union. You are as invested to your service to the Most High and God is also invested in you stepping into your most high. So just to sum it all up, each of us, whether we know it or not, we have a beautiful, unique relationship with God, Source, the Prime Creator, the Multiverse, Tao, Breath of Life, however you want to describe this loving intelligence. <laughs> 
this relationship is like any kind of relationship where it requires presence, paying attention to each other, noticing the subtle signs. It's about serving one another, trust, surrendering, equal give and receive, unconditional love, and lots of play. Hey. All right, family, you already know what it is. We are empowered and united by the source within. <laughs> Y'all are my tribe. And if you feel the vibes, then like, comment, share, hit the notification button, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what your relationship with God, with life, with the multiverse is. What kind of signs and synchronicities did you receive this week? What kind of lessons do you want to share? Let's cultivate a community in the comment section below a place where we can openly talk about these things and learn from each other. I feel that that would be really beautiful. <laughs> Tune into the frequencies next week because you and I, we're soul fam now. We're gonna be vibing here on out every Thursdays and Sundays. It's done, it's a date. And if you wanna get a little bit closer, you can join me on my Instagram, alive to vibe And I'm also going to start a truth page called truth.broadcast. So I wanna end this with an I love you as I always do and a big old kiss. Mwah. Not gonna lie, this is the best relationship I've ever had. <laughs> Source and I, we are the dream team. We are ride or die's partner in crime. I'm just kidding. The only crime we commit in is that we stay serving. Serving humanity. Serving the earth. And serving these looks. <laughs> if you don't think I'm serving these looks, then that's just blasphemy because I am made in the image of God. I am made in the same crystalline material as the prime creator and so are you, you beautiful angel.